Nova Geolytics, multi-dimensional, geolocated, subscriber-centric analytics for 3G, 4G, and 5G mobile networks. Let's see how Nova Geolytics enables an analyst to take rich geolocated cell and subscriber data and display it on a map to generate new insight. Nova Geolytics presents the analyst with a rich worldwide map with the ability to zoom down to a resolution of 50 square meters. In this example, we will look at the city of Montevideo in Uruguay. The first step is to create an analysis layer. Nova Geolytics uses analysis layers for surfacing data on the map and providing insight. There are currently two types of analysis layers, the geoanalysis layer and the network topology layer, with additional layers being developed by Exfo. Once we have created the geoanalysis layer, we are presented with two major tabs, the configuration tab and the analysis tab. The first step in configuring a layer is to select the radio access technology. In this case, we will select 3G and 4G networks. Then we select the time frame for analysis, the days, and times of day. In addition to shortcuts, there is a date picker. The next step is to create a filter. These are related to the radio access technologies under analysis. So, for example, filters related to the network to cells, whether groups or individual cells, network services, handsets, indoor or outdoor areas, and roaming, among many other choices. Nova Geolytics enables you to have multiple filters running at the same time. Filters can be enabled or disabled as necessary. Once we have configured the filter, we move on to the Analysis tab where we start by selecting a metric that we want to report on. Again, we see these categorized by the radio access technology. In this case, we want to look at a 4G radio measurement metric, average RSRP, which is the average power received from a single reference signal resource element. With the metric selected, the map starts to populate with geolocated data. Let's zoom in closer to see the detail. As you can see, we have different colors to display higher or lower levels of average power received. Now let's create another analysis layer. Once again, we give it a name and we select the time frame. Then we head back to the Analysis tab where we select another metric to report on. In this case, we will select a traffic KPI on which to report, the volume expressed in megabytes. As we see here, the colors of the map in Nova Geolytics have changed as we overlay this second analysis layer. On the right-hand side, we have the ability to toggle the different layers on or off, as well as move them up or down. Down towards the bottom of the UI, we have a color picker. This allows us to see the colors associated with the different values for the metric. It also allows us to adjust the opacity of a given layer so that it can be made prominent or not. This makes it easy to identify hotspots in the network. For example, those cells that are most likely to host roamers from a specific country. Now let's take a look at the network topology layer. This published a series of cell maps, one for each radio access technology over on the right. Returning to the Analysis tab, we can enable or disable the different map layers. Clicking the eye icon to enable the 4G network displays the different cell towers on the map. As you can see, we can zoom into the map or pan around the map to look at a specific detail. Nova Geolytics can display multiple radio access technologies on the map at the same time. Now let's turn our attention to Nova Geolytics's report capability. Each geoanalysis layer features a report section in the Analysis tab. Let's create a new report. Now let's turn our attention to Nova Geolytics's report capability. Each geoanalysis layer features a report section in the Analysis tab. Let's create a new report. Two types of reports are available a summary report in tabular form, and an XY chart. Now we'll give this summary report a name and click OK. The report is based on an area that the user is interested in analyzing. Areas can be predefined or created on the fly. Now let's create an area for analysis. This brings up a tool on the bottom right of the screen. The area tool is based on polygons, so we'll create a couple of polygons over the top of our map. We'll add a second polygon for analysis.
Then we click OK to accept. Then we select the metrics or KPIs that we want to report on for those areas. Once again, these are available by Radio Access Technology. In this case, we start by selecting all of the relevant 4G metrics. However, we can then go in and unselect all and then choose the specific KPI that we want. Here we are looking at all radio measurements. Nova Geolytics automatically aggregates all of the subscribers' call data for the specifically selected areas. Now let's turn our attention to the second type of report. The interactive XY chart, where we can create trend or multi-dimensional analysis. After creating the report, we need to configure it. Here we choose among categories, metrics, and series. Dimensions is one of the categories. Here we choose from the radio access technologies configured previously in the analysis layer. We are going to benchmark the cells in the 4G network. We want to see the cells that have the most traffic, so we select the Number of Connection Attempts metric. Then we choose the number of elements to display in the chart, ranging up to 50 in all. Let's configure a second dimension, again from the 4G network. In this case, we want to report on the drop rate, expressed as a percentage. And we want to report on the volume of data in megabytes. As we can see here, we have the individual cells listed on the bottom of the chart, with columns for each cell, showing the number of connection attempts and the traffic volume. Part of Expo's Nova RAN Suite Nova Geolytics provides operators with precise insight into radio coverage, subscriber connectivity, mobility and location that scales from cell site to nationwide visibility in seconds.